Hello everyone, welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we decode the toughest of stocks with the simplest technical patterns. So today we are going to analyze a uh, microcap industry. The name of the industry is called as Agritech India. And uh, this is once again a request from one of our YouTube subscribers. They wanted us to give our analysis on Agritech India. And so this particular video is for them. And in case if you guys want us to analyze any particular stock of your preference, you can always comment uh, the name of the stock in the comment section below. And we'll be happy to analyze that particular stock for you. So moving on to today's video, Agritech India, it's a micro cap industry and it's basically kind of a corporate forming uh, kind of a structure like uh, you uh, make more with uh, less uh, investment. So that is the kind of structure that Agritech India is uh, running with. And uh, personally, I would like to avoid uh, trading in these type of stocks because uh, when I look at the balance sheet, that is the fundamentals of Agritech India, it is very bad. So there is no positive hope uh, in the near future. That is uh, my viewpoint on Agritech India. And I don't see anything uh, fruitful for investing in this particular stock. And that is on the fundamental perspective. And if you look at the technical chart, so uh, when you look at the chart, this type of gap up should be avoided in a stock that is trading above 100 rupees so uh, this particular stock the current market price is somewhere around uh, 184 rupees so it is not a penny stock kind of uh, price so penny stocks it should be anywhere below 20 rupees or 30 rupees or even 15 rupees so that we can take some amount of uh, good risk and we can maintain our risk reward but over here this is a stock that is trading at 184 rupees and if this particular stock is uh, continuously keeps on gapping up and gapping down very often then we might be losing a lot of money because uh, the trading portal will be closed and there won't be that much order executed in the trading portal and uh, even when there is a gap down scenario then we'll be stuck with that particular portion in our portfolio and we won't be able to exit that particular stock anytime soon so that is one risk point uh, that is a major risk point what i see while investing in agritech india so from my perspective if personally i want to trade in this particular stock i would literally avoid trading in stocks like this that is uh, keep on gapping up gapping up and gapping down so that's a huge risk for me unless and until it is a penny stock but over here uh, we are going to we are not going to look at uh, the technical sorry we're not going to to look at the fundamentals that is uh, formed over here because I've already gone through it. The fundamentals of this company is really weak. So just by looking at the technical pattern, yes, we can uh, go ahead and invest with a little bit of uh, a small quantity. Let's say like uh, we need to consider this stock as uh, the same as any penny stock. So we need to invest only 20% of your allocated capital in stocks like this. So even though the stock price is trading at 184 rupees, I still consider this as a penny stock kind of a segment and uh, with a strict stop loss, you need to invest it. So in case if you are uh, planning to enter, don't deviate from the penny stock rules and that is going to save much of your capital. Okay, so coming to the technical uh, pattern that is formed, this is a daily time frame that I'm showing over here. And if you look over here from here, the stock grows up here almost uh, close to, let me calculate it. So from 132 levels, it rose up here almost 60% uh, just within a short span of, uh, let's say, 6 to 10 days. So within a period of 10 days, the stock rose up here almost 60%. So that alone should give you a clear scope that how much uh, manipulation is being happening in this particular stock. And the prices are basically being pushed up and down. So uh, if you are if you are going to enter in this particular stock, we need to make sure that there is a good volatility. And in case if the trade is going sideways, we can have uh, we should have enough volatility in the trading platform so that we can exit our losses on the same day itself. But in case if the you know, trading platform is completely closed, there is no uh, trading going on in this particular stock or if there is no no sellers or buyers that is coming over here then we might be stuck with that particular stock and we might be booking a huge amount of losses more than what we have uh, anticipated so that is uh, the key takeaway over here so for this particular good up move uh, the stock has uh, you know started moving into a sideways trend like here and uh, this sideways trend also can be plotted into a pattern so this basically represents a flag pattern so this is a channel pattern that is descending channel pattern that i see over here and for this good up move over here this overall combined together it forms a flag type of pattern and uh, for this that is from 132 to uh, 210 so that's basically uh, close to 80 points move approximately 80 points right let me calculate that so approximately 80 points move 
right so this particular 80 points uh, uh, for this particular 80 points move the stock is trading in a sideways trend as of now so uh, just wait for the stock just uh, you know plot this pattern in your uh, technical chart as well and wait for the stock to uh, break above this uh, parallel channel so this pattern has to break on the upper side if it is breaking down on the lower side you just need to ignore it and you just need to stay away from this particular stock in case if the stock is breaking down breaking up on the upper side and if the volatility of the stock is really good on that particular day then you can take a small amount of portion that is a not too much of risk just invest only 20 percentage of your intended capital and you can hold for a target of almost so 210 is going to be my first target 230 is going to be my second target and my final target sorry my third target is going to be 260 over here and my final target is going to be 290 so these are the four targets what i'm freezing for uh, let me shrink the chart so these are the four targets what i'm freezing for agritech india and uh, the catch is the stock has to close above this uh, this parallel channel so basically let's uh, keep 192 as a breakout zone so to be on the safer side it has to close above 192 and it has to move and close beyond 192 in order for the uh, you know uh, pattern to be breaking out and in order for the flag pattern to be completed so just wait for the stock to break out on the upper side and you can hold it for a target of almost uh, 210 230 260 and 290 okay so stop loss so you can keep your stop loss below this 150 uh, levels so that is going to be a safer level of stop loss uh, so once again it depends upon the breakout zone so as of now uh, the stop loss is going to be 150 calculating from this low and in case if the stock is making new lows that is uh, if it is not breaking out on uh, from the current market price it is coming down once again touching the lower part of this parallel channel then you need to uh, move your stop loss accordingly so from here uh, the previous low is 168 and if the new low is let's say like it is 164 then you need to move your stop loss to 145 so like that you can uh, move your stop loss and you can uh, you know calculate your uh, targets based on that as well so once the stock breakouts on the upper side and uh, once my uh, once i book my final target that is at 290 i'm looking at a returns of almost a 53 percentage so uh, 53 percentage returns is the potential returns what i'm expecting from agritech if i'm planning to invest in this particular stock and uh, if you look at the time frame it is going to be four months so within a period of four months i'm looking at a returns of almost 53 percentage okay so once again this is a super risky stock to invest in so if you have enough surplus capital and if you want to take a small amount of risk then yes uh, you can take a small amount of risk in this particular stock and you can hold it for a period of almost four months for a returns of almost 53 percentage but in case if you are a safe trader then i would recommend to completely skip this particular uh, stock and you can invest your capital in much more stable stocks all right so yeah that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on agri tech india i hope this video was useful and i hope you learned some informative things from this video and as usual if you like my analysis please do click on the like button and if you want to subscribe to our channel if you want to support and subscribe to our channel please don't please do it as well i'll see you guys in the next video till then it's bye from chris take care bye bye and thank you for watching